In this video, you're going to see how to create a slicer-driven dashboard with Power Pivot in Excel. These controls allow you to quickly update charts based on a single month or several months at a time. The filter can also be reset to display the results for all months combined. In this example, we have a data set of daily sales as well as fixed and variable costs for four different locations. Before we begin, make sure Power Pivot is enabled. To do this, go to File, then Options. In the dialog box that appears, select Add-ins. From the drop-down list at the bottom, select Com Add-ins and hit Go. Check the box next to Microsoft Power Pivot and click OK. Next, we'll add our table to the Power Pivot data model. Under the Power Pivot ribbon, click Add to Data Model. Now we'll add a calculated column that adds the fixed and variable cost columns together. Click in the column to the right, hit Equals. Select a cell from the fixed cost column, hit plus, and select a cell from the variable cost column and hit enter. Note that the formula is displayed at the top. Next, we'll double click in the header and rename this field to total costs. Then we'll select our four value fields and format them in an accounting style with no decimal places. After that, we'll come down to a cell below our data set to add a measure. Here we want to divide the sum of the total cost field by the sum of the daily sales field to get a cost to sales ratio. Hit equals, followed by sum and tab. In the formula bar, select the total cost field from the daily sales table. Don't forget to add a closing parentheses at the end. Add a forward slash to divide by the sum of the total daily sales field. Add a closing parentheses and hit enter. Next. We'll change the generic measure one field name to cost to sales ratio. Following that, we'll format this measure field as a percentage. Now we need to create a new date table in our model because we want to group our totals by month and year. To do this, go to the design ribbon at the top. Under the date table drop down list, click new. This automatically creates a calendar table containing different date type fields. We'll delete the fields we don't need for our dashboard. You can now see the month and year field that we want to use for our dashboard slicer. Since it begins with text, we need to add a helper sorting field to make sure it's sorted by month number and then year in our dashboard. For our new helper column, set it equal to the month number field, followed by plus, and then in parenthesis list the year field multiplied by 12 to convert it to months and hit enter. We'll rename this field as sort column. Next, click on the month year field and go to the home ribbon and click on the sort by column option. This allows us to sort our selected month year column by the sort column field we just created. Next, go to the diagram view at the top right. Here we need to link our two tables together by their related field which is the full month day year field from both tables. Simply click on the date field from one table and drag it to the same field on the second table. The tables are now synced. Now we're ready to create our dashboard. Under the home ribbon, go to the pivot table drop down list and select the option for four charts. We'll add this to a new sheet. In our first chart, we'll select the location field for our axis. For the chart values, we'll select our daily sales field and our total cost field. Then we'll right-click on any of the gray field buttons in our chart and select the option to hide them. After that, we'll delete our legend for additional space. Next, we'll click on the plus icon at the top right to select more options. Here, we'll add a chart title, data labels, and data table at the bottom. We'll change our title to sales versus total costs. After that, click on the design ribbon to change the chart style. Now click in the second chart. We'll add the location field as our axis. For the values, we'll look at fixed costs versus variable costs. Once again, We'll right click on one of the field buttons and hide all of them. Next, we'll go up to the design ribbon and change the chart type to a 3D bar chart. With the design ribbon still active, 
we'll change the design style to match our first chart. Next, we'll go to the Chart Options menu at the top right corner and add a chart title and data labels. Following that, we'll give our chart a descriptive title. Now click on the next chart. Once again, we'll add the location field to the axis. This time, select the cost to sales ratio field for the values. Hide the field buttons. Next, go up to the design ribbon. Here we'll change the chart style to match the others. The theme colors did not carry over, but we'll fix that shortly. We'll add a chart title and data labels. Now click on the paintbrush icon. On the color tab, we'll choose a color that matches our previous charts. Now click on the final chart. Again, use the location field as the axis. For the values, we'll use total costs. Next, click on the Values drop-down list and select Value Field Settings. Under the Show Values as tab, select Percentage of Grand Totals and click OK. Back on the chart, right-click on the Field button and select Hide All. Under the Design ribbon, change the chart type to a 3D pie chart. Then choose a design style that matches our previous charts. Click the Options Plus icon on the top right of the chart to add data labels. Then click the Paintbrush icon and select the Color tab to pick a color theme that's closer to the other charts. Finally, we'll update the chart title. Now we're ready to link a date slicer to our charts. Click on the first chart. Go to the Pivot Chart Analyze ribbon and choose Insert Slicer. In the dialog window, select the All tab and expand the plus icon under the More Fields section of the calendar table. Choose the Month and Year field and click OK. This creates our date slicer, but it's currently only linked to the first chart. To link it to the other charts, right-click on the slicer and choose Report Connections. In the next window, select the other three charts and click OK. Now all four charts are linked to our Month and Year slicer. We can select individual months or hit the clear icon to see all periods together. You can also select several months at a time by holding down the control button as you click. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.